there is a lot of genetic investigation going on. Uh, right now, the ones I, I know about the most are where large um, cohorts of uh, familial CLL patients, that is, patients who have CLL where there's one or two, one or three, two first degree blood relatives uh, that have CLL are, are being studied because their families have an increased incidence of MBL. And there, there's a lot of effort to look at what we call germline polymorphisms, that is what a patient, an individual would be born with that might predispose them to generate, to having this disorder. Uh, these are also called single nucleotide polymorphisms or SNPs. The reason that's being focused on in terms of seeing whether or not that's what true predisposition is to MBL is because in CLL, overt CLL, there are uh, over 40 polymorphisms that are associated with the development of CLL, so we think that's a good pathway to go. Uh, other than that, I, I'm not aware of any line of investigation that would uh, help us right now in figuring out why people get MBL. My guess is it's largely genetically determined, though.